In today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, Confluence Park Pavilion. Uh, this is a model uh, that was requested by uh, by some of you, and I decided to actually show you how we can model this uh, this project. Uh, when it comes to this uh, project, it's, um, it's designed by Lake and Flato Architects and Matsy's Design, uh, and this is like some kind of open space project that has. Uh, that has some facilities next to it and it, I thought it would be very cool to actually show you how we can uh, model this kind of geometry in Rhino uh, we will be using uh, these splines as a plugin uh, and this will help us to actually develop uh, this geometry uh, in fact uh, the project has its own like diagrams here like the development diagrams so we'll be actually going through these and actually uh, seeing how we can act, uh, how we can uh, manipulate those and how we can use the information from here, uh, so that we actually model uh, this this uh, whole unit. Uh, we will be modeling only one of these uh, one of these modules, but you will see that once we model this one module, then uh, all the other ones uh, you will be able to use based based on this uh, first one, and. Uh, so let's get started. So first I'm going to import this base model in my top view here. And let's see uh, if we can get this to work to scale. So I'm going to actually create a line from here and here. So I know this is five meters. So I'll be using actually uh, here five. So I know that this is how much I need to scale. And let's move this line up like so and let's scale this from here until there this way we know that this is five meters so we are working uh in the correct scale uh next thing we're going to do let's let's bring this somewhere there in the middle and we can actually trim it so we just see this this area here because we don't need anything else like this uh, and the last thing I would like to do, let's bring actually this middle point in the center. So I'm going to click here and I will type 0, 0, 0. This will bring my drawing in the center. And let's click on this guy and let's go to the transparency here and let's bring it down so that we know, see what we're working with. And then I will lock it. Uh, next thing I will do, I'll actually uh, create some reference points so I'll create this middle point at zero and then I will create some of these other points that I can see here uh, uh, that I can see here in the image and then we'll see later on uh, how to do this precisely and I will create I'll just create rectangles and I'll create them based on these reference points that I just drew uh, this way this will help us later on to actually uh, get this geometry uh, cut and uh, create create um, correct uh, scaling so now we have basically just these triangles there and the next thing I will do I'll just select all of this and I will lock it again and now I'll create some some circles so I'll create circle from here until this point and I'll create some other circle, for example, let's say somewhere around here. We, we can modify this later on. So before proceeding, let's take a look at uh, this geometry here that we have. And let's see the principle uh, that we will be using. So as you can see here in these diagrams, uh, the actual module is has five angles. And uh, it's, it's consisted of these three elements, which is C, B and A. So here you can see that uh, how they would they would actually fit uh, in in the actual uh, module here the big one. So as you can see here we have here uh, B A uh, B B and C. So uh, this would be one one single module. So we have one here that is C. Then we have A on these two sides and B on these two sides. So there so they are actually on the opposite sides and you can see here that they're actually complementing each, each other here when they continue to grow 
So based on this, uh, based on these diagrams, we will uh, use the same principle uh, when we model, and that means that we need to create uh, some kind of uh, division, uh, like like here. So uh, the best way to do it is to start with the torus. So we're gonna start here, uh, and then we're going to uh, have the let's say vertical faces. I think eight is fine, uh, but let's go like with 10 just in case uh, and we'll be using here uh, this this spine surface so as you can see here if you have five big segments uh, the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna actually cut down the ones that we don't need so we don't need the the, the bottom parts and now uh, one important thing is that we need to actually uh, orient all of these correctly so you can see here that the orientation is not is not precisely good here so we will be using just a simple rotation and then we will try to get the uh, the angles to, to 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 match of course this will not will be perfect but we need to get it as close as possible and then uh, we will modify it manually like this for example and now what we'll do here we're actually going to use one of these edges. I'll go in 3D just to show you. So I'm going to press L, that's keyboard uh, shortcut to select the whole edge. And then I will exit the displants command. And then I will go to the top. And first thing I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually bring this guy here to this edge. And I'm going to do rotate. And I will rotate the whole edge here. To this to this point to this line like so and I will do this for all of the all, all of the edges as well so I will use L again I'll exit the these planes I'll go to the move command and then I'll bring this to perpendicular and I'll do rotate uh, again and I will basically repeat the same process for each edge All right, so once we have all these guys rotated, we can go again uh, into these plans and we can see uh, we can see how it looks like. And as you can see, it's a little bit distorted, but that's that's just the way it is based on the geometry on the bottom. And now, uh, next thing we need to do, we need to actually play around a little bit with these edges, and we need to actually get all these edges to work with each other. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to actually uh, let's start let's start from here uh, we'll actually select all of these guys I'm gonna hold I'm gonna select the edge and press L and this way I'll be selecting all of these edges and now I'm gonna just bring everything up and then after that is done I will actually deselect the top one and then I will uh, try to do the same thing with the rest the point is here to actually, of course, uh, get get that uh, overall modular shape, and then uh, we will be continuing from there. You can see here that we have a little bit of a problem, and that's because uh, we have these creases turned on for um, for for these top uh, top edges. So we will select all of these and we'll say remove crease here. That will give us this kind of effect. And from there on, uh, we will be using edges, and now we'll just try to get everything uh, to fit and to have that shape that we wanted. Of course, uh, you can always use Shift if you want to have uh, if you want to have the same uh, the same scaling from uh, two directions. So, for example, I will hold L here, and let me show you. So if I hold L and I hold shift here, you'll see that it will scale nicely inside. Something like this. So right now I'm going to play around with this and uh, try to get the shape as close as possible to the real thing.
All right, so now once I have this uh, shape as close as possible to the actual design, uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm, to, I'm going to actually uh, divide this T-spline surface. So now at this point, we need to uh, actually create uh, this kind of um, volley that we see here, like this kind of uh, transition here. And the best way to, to create this is to actually divide all these surfaces. So we're going to start uh, first with uh, with this one. Actually, I'm going to do the process on one of them and then I'll speed up the video so that you can see uh, how it's done to the all of them. So first thing, I'm going to actually insert one edge here in the middle. And then I'm going to insert two more edges, but actually in this area here and in this area here. So first I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to insert edge here in the middle and then I'm going to click this guy and I'm going to insert the same edge here. So that's just one. Now I'm going to do the same process uh, to all of them. Uh, and why I'm doing this? I'm doing this because uh, this will allow us to have a better control of, um, of those volleys that we see in the design. So uh, let me just do the whole thing to all of them and then we'll continue from there. Alright, so once we have all of these done, so I'm going to select, for example, here, I'm going to select first this edge, I'm going to say L, and then I will bring it down. Before bringing it down, I'm going to select all the other edges that are actually in the middle, and you will see uh, why we're doing this just in just a second. Uh, the main idea here is that we create those volleys that we saw on a design. So if I go like this, you will see that I'm getting this nice shape that we actually see there in the design. So I'm bringing this even more down. And you can see here that we're getting these nice transitions. And of course, uh, we can actually uh, bring some of these vertices. We don't need to do to all of them, so we're going to bring this... Uh, upper ones a little bit up like this so that we uh, that we get a smoother transition so I'm just holding control here deselecting the ones we don't need and I'm selecting the bottom ones now like this and we can also do the same thing to these guys we can bring them here so uh, that's basically uh, the idea and once we have these uh, transitions, uh, what we can do, we can actually, of course, modify them further. We can play around with this shape. We can, for example, control a little bit, a little bit more these transitions. If we think they're too big or too small, we can bring these vertices up or down. Uh, that's up to you. But for now, uh, for this tutorial, this is uh, quite, quite uh, enough. And uh, once we have this shape, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually unlock everything else that we had here in the scene. And one of those things were these triangles, if you remember, that we drew at the beginning. So I'll select all of these triangles first. And uh, now I will say curve boolean. And I will actually get this outer shape. This, that's what I need. And now at this point, I will use this display surface. I'll create a copy. I'll copy it in place and I'll just hide one copy just for uh, for the case yeah, that, that we need to fix something. But uh, now I can convert this to Rhino surface and I can just cut it out like this. Let's do the split command like this. And now we have this basic shape. Uh, another thing we can do, we can actually create some offsets here. So let's do, let's see, um, 0 0.1 something like this uh, and we can do these offsets all around and this will give us for example uh, that transition that we have uh, in the real design so and we're going to use them to cut this uh, geometry so let's do split click here and select the cutting objects and now we can actually 
take out the surface, delete it. Uh, we can of course delete the bottom, we don't need. And we will create just one simple line here so that I can cut here the base as well. Let's do split. Let's select all of these guys, enter, and let's cut the bottom like this. And at this point, this is our, our uh, structure. Uh, what we can do now, we can of course give it some thickness uh, and we can maybe even uh, play around here with the radiuses, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go like this and I will go insert and let's say 0 0.5 and this would be the like the thickness and uh, the last thing that I want to show you here is that if you uncover this and let's hide all of these guys on the bottom in, uh, we'll just need these outer ones actually yeah let's keep it doesn't matter so for example as we said uh, if we do for example the mirror here you will see that this will fit perfectly here in the in the geometry. We can do the same here with this guy. We can mirror it. And we'll get that structure that we just created. And you can see here that we have those transitions. Uh, and they're uh, quite, quite interesting, quite interesting geometry that we created. You can see here that the transition is not 100% right because uh, we didn't have the uh, control here too much but uh, I, I mentioned that you can use those on those curves and you can use it to actually cut all of this out and there you go you get the idea uh, the last thing that I wanted to say is that for example if you want to create those those fillets here you can go on the top view and you can create for example some kind of shape on top and do the mirroring and now it's just a matter of uh, putting the correct uh, the, the correct um, ABC modules in the correct places and then you would have uh, this structure. Hope that you like this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any requests for any future tutorials or if you have any feedback for me that would be highly appreciated and until the next time uh, see you and take care.